Hi, I'm Alex Opson, the Lead Strength and Conditioning Coach for British Sailing, and I'm here to, today to talk about some top tips of what might go into a good week and what might go into a bad week when you think about your physical training. Now, there's loads of information available on the Physical Youth Training resource, so if you want any more information around what I discussed today, go on to that and have a look through the information. Um, so, my top tip number one is planning it's really important to think around what's going in to your week on a bad week you can see in this example the person hasn't done a very good job of planning their week and you can see from wednesday through to friday they've got loads of physical training and they're even training on saturday when they're sailing if you look at a good week example person's done a really good job of planning what's going into their week. They know they're sailing at the weekend and what they've managed to do is spread their training out over the week. Um, it's really important to think that every week might be different, but what we wanna be able to do is maintain really consistent training during those weeks. So think about what's in your diary or your schedule for that week and think around how you can plan to get your sessions to fit in and around what's going on. Um, we can also look at the bad week and, and look at how on Wednesday and Thursday, this person's planned to do back-to-back -back strength and conditioning sessions. And actually what we might find is on Thursday, you're actually still quite tired from Wednesday's strength and conditioning session. So think about how when you're planning that week, you might divide up where you do those sessions in the week. You can see in the good week, the strength and conditioning sessions on Tuesday, um, first thing, and then Thursday uh, as the last training session. So there's a really good opportunity to recover from that session and make the most of the next time you do that session without being too tired. So that's top tip number one. Think about how you might plan ahead of that week so that there's not a mad rush at the end of the week to try and fit in all those training sessions. Hey, top tip number two is don't try and push too hard in those first sessions of the week. It's really easy to think about starting the week on a high, push really hard in that physical training uh, session and then be so tired for the rest of the week you're not able to do any other sessions. So what we want to think about is going at the right intensity for that session. And what that will enable you to do is to be able to complete multiple sessions. What we can find is that if that first session is too hard, then every session you do on top of that, that adds to the fatigue and actually doesn't allow you to recover. And what we'll find is, during a week is that you potentially just get more and more tired and don't have the opportunity to recover, which is really important to get better at your physical training. And then if you think about adding together two or three weeks of training where you're just consistently getting more and more tired and not able to recover, actually what we might find is that instead of improving your fitness, um, that maybe you might get worse or at best maintain. So it's really important to think about during your week, which sessions are hard and which sessions need to be done a bit easier and then planning them around so you don't have back-to-back -back really hard sessions and the sessions that are easy, you make sure are, are nice and easy and at the right intensity so that you're able to recover from it. And that leads me on to top tip number three and that's recovery. So it's really important with training that you're able to recover from the session or from the week of training that you've just done. Um, and it really goes back to point one and two. You need to make sure that you're planning a week to spread your training out over the week. Um, and you also need to make sure that that session is done at the right intensity. If you can do both of those, you give yourself the best opportunity to recover and therefore get better from your physical training. 
So think around in between those sessions, what can you do to recover before you go into that session? Have you got everything ready um, in order for you to do the best job to recover after that session? Have you got nutrition? Have you got your hydration? And also, when's the next session? Because that's going to be really important to how you're able to improve your training. So that's it. That's my three top tips for um, a good a good week's training and a bad week's training. You can see the importance, and I talked a bit about it during that, is that actually when we get um, really consistent training weeks, we can think around our progressions in that. But just as important as it's just as important as thinking around what a good week and a bad week looks like it's also really important to think around how those weeks add up together. And actually, the same principles apply. We want, to, uh, we, want to, we want to plan to do more in each week over a period of time. And in the youth resource, there's loads of information about some, some training examples that will help you plan, not only in a week, but over a longer period of time. Here's a really good example of one of the 12 week uh, plans. You can see the progressions um, over this four week period and also how we've gone about planning the week. So you can see in week one, there's a 30 minute uh, low level CV. So an endurance CV session. Um, that goes back to that idea around that should be an easy session. If we train, if we plan our training um, properly and we go around and use those top tips um, we need to make sure we do that session easy it could be that we are just starting a new training block and want to get really good improvements and go too hard on that session and actually what that might do is um, is make it difficult to complete the rest of the week so you can see that week one has four sessions in it and the endurance sessions go from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And then if you look into week two, there's an extra session uh, and also some of the CV minutes start to increase. Um, same again in week three. And then on week four, there's an easier week. And on the resource, you can see the following weeks in that 12 week plan. And it's a really good framework to help you organize your training and give you some suggestions on how that might look in a week, but also over a 12 week period. So that's it for my top tips today. So just to recap, planning, make sure you think around what goes into your week and then how you can go about planning your physical training so that there's always adequate time to complete those sessions without being everything um, everything jammed into one end of the week. Top tip number two was make sure you do the sessions at the right intensity. So don't push too hard on those easy sessions and make sure that we're building those weeks. Uh, top tip number three was recovery. It's really important that we plan our training uh, so that we're able to recover from our physical training and that allows us to get better. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Um, if there is more information that you are looking for, head to the Physical Youth Training resource and have a look at what's available. I hope everyone's enjoying training from home at the moment and staying safe uh, and enjoy the rest of your week.